Well, folks, this is Marty out here at the Ozark Outdoors channel. Today I want to test this bullet here in my 6.5 Grendel. It's 123 grain SST. It has a 510 ballistic coefficient versus the 95 grain VMAX. It only has like a 365 ballistic coefficient. This is the 100 grain hollow point Sierra bullet that I was shooting out of my 260 in a VTR. It's comparable with the 95 grain VMAX. But I'm going to be trying this powder here, the uh, Hodges and H335. This book here is showing a 123 grain Sierra Boatail hollow point with H335 at 28.87 for max charge. So I'm probably going to work around that load. Probably start at 28.2 and work my way up. And we'll see what kind of groups we can get in velocity and see if there's any pressure difference because the 107 grain Match King, I think it has the same ballistic coefficient but has a little different profile. It doesn't have a cannular. Um, anytime you have a groove or cannula on a bullet, that relieves a little bit of the pressure as it's passing through the barrel because it's just a little bit less grip the barrel has on the bullet. The longer bearing surface on a very low drag bullet or a longer hunting bullet has more friction on the bullet as it's passing through the barrel. That's why a lot of manufacturers are putting the rings around the bullets. It cuts down on friction so you can run a little bit more pressure behind them. But anyway, we're going to try these 123 grain SSTs. These, this black ammo and this custom ammo here. This is a group at 200 yards shot from the little AR Grendel, the black ammo. And this was a group, it was just a three shot group with a custom SST load. At, these are both at 200 yards. So you can see they shoot pretty good. I shot this ammo here, the black, out at 465 yards, I believe it was. And it grouped right around four inches. And it was a little bit windy that day. It wasn't bad, but I want to test this at some longer range too. But I'd like to try to find a, a reload with this 123 grain bullet that will come close to duplicating that. So anyway, I'm going to get started putting some powder in some shells. Stay tuned. Well, i got to say this. Hodgson H335 metered really well this little cheap powder thrower I've got this digital scale it was out of 20 loads there was two or three that was maybe a tenth of a grain off that I had to take a little bit out or add a little bit to but it meters really good and powder is really uh, fine Well, these factory loads, they are reading 2.238 overall length. So I think that's the overall length I'm going to go ahead and use since it's the same bullet that I'm using. We'll go from there. SST 23 green bullets, 510 ballistic coefficient. So they ought to fly pretty flat. Same bullets loaded in the custom ammo here. And this one already black ammo, it has the ELD bullet. And it's supposedly a same ballistic coefficient. I think basically it's the same bullet. The ELD bullet. It's got a harder tip maybe. And a doesn't have the cannula on it. So anyway, we're going to give these bullets a try. See if we can get a load that shoots similar to these factory ammo. 
hopefully.